Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Been tracking a new rogue agent cell. They seem determined to pick up where Keener left off. We've identified five rogue agents responsible for attacks on civilian safe houses using Keener's Eclipse virus. Their leader is Carter LaRue, call sign Hornet, one of Keener's army buddies. He's had run-ins with division agents before and seems like a true believer. The only thing worse than Keener's bullshit are the people that buy it. Lori Baker, call sign Termite, former field surgeon. After the quarantine, she murdered a group of infected patients inside a Sarah hospital. She believes eradicating the weak is the only way to gain control. Tegan Silver, call sign Luna. She was working with the State Department when the first wave was activated. We believe she's responsible for leaking critical intel to Keener. Elijah Lee, call sign Huntsman, former bomb disposal unit turned division recruiter. He's the genius who signed on Keener and LaRue. He's eager to prove himself as Keener's successor. Jason Barnes, call sign Titan. Former Wildland smoke jumper, activated during the second wave. Don't underestimate him. He's an eco terrorist determined to wipe out humanity. These rogue agents were Keener's most loyal followers. Tracking them won't be easy. They're armed with the Eclipse virus, so don't forget your mask. Hey guys, Jacob here. As you just saw, that was the briefing for season two. And as you know, we're going after Hornet, who was a target in the first game, and the Russian consulate, who we thought we killed. Uh, some of this information was leaked a while back, so a lot of you guys already know this stuff. Uh, but I'm going to be going over the targets and also going over the rewards track for you guys. As you know, Hornet is going to be the prime target. Uh, then we have Termite, which we can actually access right now. And you guys can see the missions that they left there. What we're going to have to do, uh, you can do the control points, bounties, bank headquarters, Fell Emergency Bunker, Bounties, Control Points, the Manning Zoo, and then Camp White Oak. And then in two weeks, we'll be able to track Luna, which will be the next target. And then Missing Intel for Titan Huntsman. And then finally, the final target will be Hornet and will be rewarded the Repair Trap, which will be the new skill we're going to be getting. And a lot of you guys already know this stuff because it was leaked. Uh, but that's pretty much how we're going to be getting the new skill for the trap. On to the Season Rewards. I'll open this up real quick for you guys to see. And the event is the Target Termite. Then we have the League, which is the Termite League coming soon in six days. The new Global Event Hollywood, one week in six days. And then we have the Target Luna, which is two weeks, six days. And the new Phoenix Down Apparel event, which I am very excited for because I love the apparel events. And hopefully this one has some stuff in it uh, that's really awesome because um, this appears to be like maybe a rogue uh, style uh, apparel event or just something different than we usually have. The Luna League, which will be in three weeks and six days. The Polarity Switch again, which I did not like this one in the first uh, season. Four weeks and six days. Huntsman, five weeks and six days. The Huntsman League, which is six weeks and six days. Reanimated again, which is seven weeks and six days. Titan, eight weeks and six days. In the Titan League, which is nine weeks and six days. Guardians again, which is final, which is ten weeks and six days. And uh, eventually, then that way we'll work our way up to pretty much Hornet, and then we'll be good to go. Now for the rewards track, uh, you can see that we have the pre uh, pre premium track, and then the normal track. You have Keener's Legacy Agent, which is a patch. You get Walker Harris for number two, three, four. And number five, you get the SIG 5.6 rifle. As for the premium track, you're beating Hyena Keys, uh, Camo, Apparel Cache Keys, a Crafting Material Cache, and the Eclipse Outfit. Next is going to Walker Harris Knee Pads, a True Suns Key for the premium track. Season 2 for the premium track, and a Walker Harris Mask, Chest Piece, and Backpack. And you get Apparel Cache Keys, Textiles, and a Named Item Cache, and a Season 2 Legacy Keener Cache for 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you're going to get Eclipse Protocol Mask, you're going to get Walker Harris Blueprint for Gloves, Eclipse Protocol Gloves, Eclipse Protocol Holster, and the Resolute MK47 Rifle. For the premium track, you're going to get Outcast Keys, Gray par Green Skin, Apparel Cache Keys, Crafting Material Cache, Named Item Cache, and for 16, you're going to be getting Eclipse Protocol Knee Pads, Walker Harris Holster, and Eclipse Protocol uh, vest and backpack so you'll be able to have the full Eclipse Protocol set by just completing the steps on the season. And then Legacy Cash for 20. And as for 16 for the premium, you get Black Test Keys, another Legacy Cash, Apparel Cash Keys, and Textiles, and a Named Item Cash. 
cleaner key, uh, key for 21. And then you'll be getting the Walker Harris blueprint for the knee pads, another cache, uh, apparel cache keys, name crafting materials for 24 premium, 25 legacy uh, cash key for the container, and then you'll get the juggling emote for premium, Riker key for premium, season two for premium, the Walker Harris blueprint for the chest piece for the normal, 28, which is going to be the season two Keener legacy cash, apparel cash keys, textiles, the uh, smoke moth very much skin for the Sig 556, which is the new assault rifle that's added, which you will be getting the mechanical animal, which is the new rifle with the new talent on it. So you guys will be able to test that out. Season 2 Keener Legacy Cache for premium. Backpack Blueprint, which is Walker Harris for 32. And the Charcoal uh, Quarimarine uh, Gear Die for premium. Apparel Cache Keys. Crafting Material Cache. Named Item Cache. And for 33 and 35, you'll be getting a Legacy Season Cache. And a Season 2 Keener Legacy Cache. Next, you're going to get Hyena Keys. And for 37, you're going to get the 556 Blueprint. 38, you're going to get Legacy Cache Keys, Apparel Keys, Textiles, a Biohazard Skin. In the Matador Backpack, which is Perfect Adrenaline Rush, for you guys who are trying to get it, you'll be able to get it at level 40. And for 42, the Eclipse Protocol Blueprint Mask, an Ender Legacy Keener Legacy Cache, and a Legacy Season Cache, a True Suns Key, a Grey Robin Skin, Gear Die that is, Apparel Keys, Crafting Materials, and an Exotic Cache for 45. As for 46, Outcast Keys, Season 2 Legacy Keener Legacy Cache for 47, and the Eclipse Protocol Blueprint for Gear Die, or Gear Set, my bad. And 48, you get the permanent unlock for Season 1 Prime Target Mission, Roseville Island, Jupiter. That way you can get the Sticky Bomb, or that is the EMP Sticky. Apparel Cache Keys, Textiles for 49, a TikTok Emote, and Keener Legacy Elite. 51, Black Tusk Key. 2, you get the Sapphire and Ocean Eclipse Protocol Holster. 53, Apparel Cash Key. Crack Material Cash for 54. And for 55, you get the Mantis, which is the new exotic snipe rifle, which I'll be covering later on once I get it. And the Web Spinner Custom Negev Weapon Skin. 56, for Premium Track Cleaner Key. Season 2 Legacy Cash again. And the Eclipse Protocol Knee Pads uh, Brand Gear Set Blueprint. Apparel Cache Key, Textiles, named Item Cache for both on Premium and Normal. 61 Rikers, and 62 you get the Eclipse Protocol Vest Blueprint. And the Grey Peach Garnet Skin, or Blueprint that it, or uh, Gear Die that is. Apparel Cache Key, the Crafting Material Cache, and the named Item Cache, which is the Season 2 Legacy Cache for Keener. At 66 you get the Badlands Gear Die, the Blueprint for the Eclipse Protocol Backpack, and Legacy Keener Cache. Apparel Keys, Textiles, Glasswork for the custom M44 Carbine, and the Chain Killer Name Vest, which last time I checked was the Perfect Headhunter. The Heine Key for Premium, the Resolute MK47 Blueprint Weapon Blueprint, Midnight Gear Buy, Peril Cash Keys for 73, 74 you get the Crafting Material Cash, and 75 you get the Bullet Trick and Legacy Se uh, Season Cash. So, uh, through 76, 77, 78, 79, there's no rewards for normal, so you're getting premium track if you purchased it. Uh, True Suns Key, Legacy Season 2 Key, Apparel Cash Key, Textiles, and then you get the Harmony named, which is perfect in sync, and the Hornet skin for this, which looks pretty cool. Outcast Key for 81, uh, the Azure Black Ivory skin for the Gear Die for 82, 83 Apparel Key, 84 Crafting Material, 85 you get a Legacy Key or Legacy Cash, and then you get a Name Item Cash for Premium. Black Tusk Key for 86, 87, you get the Legacy Keener Cash, 88 Apparel, 89 Textiles, and 90, you get the Vile Mask, which I cannot wait to get my hands on this and test it, and it is a long way away, it's not like the 35 level to get the Coyote, you're going to have to go all the way to 90 to get this, so they're actually having a award towards at the end, so there's two exotics, so a lot of people are going to be working for this, I know, to get this before the raid comes out. Next is going to be 91, you get a cleaner key, the gray pine for the gear die for 92. 93, you get the apparel cash keys, crafting material, and then finally at 95, you get an exotic cache, and you get two exotic caches if you have the premium track. 96, Riker keys, 97, another legacy cache for Keener. 98, apparel cash keys. And 99, textiles, and 100, you get the Havoc Mask, which looks really, really cool. And you get the Keener's Legacy Hero Patch. 
Uh, but overall, that's pretty much going to be it for everything in the Season 2 Rewards track and covering a little bit for you guys so you know uh, pretty much what to look for. But you guys can actually go hunt Hornet down at the moment, and he's pretty much available to go. You'll see the main missions, uh, bank headquarters, stuff like this will pop up. And you guys can go do these and track him down and pretty much kill him and be good to go. But overall, that's about it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division 2 content, and I'll catch you guys all. Big